Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to update number two on the HC6 from Cross RC. This is going to be a 112th scale off-road military truck, 6x6, six six, pretty awesome. Now, I want to give you a good update here because I did a lot of stuff. And I uh, also want to talk about a few issues that I'm having with the build as well. So first off, as you see, I got the chassis together along with the uh, mechanical parts, the transmission, the transfer case, uh, both of the servers are in, and uh, so that's how it looks right now. Pretty massive, long vehicle. Now, talk about some of the issues that I've been having that's been delaying my process on the build of the truck here. Uh, the first issue I'm having is with the drive shafts. The grub screws they sent for the drive shaft that goes through the you know through your drive shafts and it goes through the outer uh, shaft on the axle. Uh, it would go halfway and get jammed up. Now I'm not exactly sure why this is. Either they sent the wrong ones or just the holes are not big enough. I don't know what it is. I have actually have broken two of my uh, hex screwdriver bits here. Two brand new ones. I actually broke them trying to uh, either get that screw in or you know, trying to pull it out. Uh, it just get wedged in there and I don't know what it is. Uh, another issue I'm having is with the nylon uh, plastic leaf springs. A lot of them will keep breaking and cracking on me. Now it says in the instruction not to tighten, uh, not to tighten them up because I guess with the weight of the vehicle, once it's all finished and built, the weight of it actually compresses them down. I, I want to say that is. That's what my buddy Paul was telling me about, and it might be that's the reason why they did that. That's why I said not to tighten them too much, but. Uh, I just got them like kind of snugged on there and they keep breaking on me so the ones in the rear here are cracking and breaking I'm missing a bunch and uh, so uh, I'm <laughs> trying to deal with that problem right there uh, I've contacted Cross RC about this and their customer support base is not really the best they do not have a, a phone number that you can call everything has to be done through their email process and uh, it takes about a day or two or so to hear from anybody from Cross about it and uh, I'm, I'm in the process right now of, of, of going back and forth with one of the reps or their technical support person and uh, so I'm going through that process as a painstaking progress uh, of going through email waiting for them to respond but uh, so yeah, this couple issues I'm having with the truck in the build process and it's delaying my process of getting the truck done. There's so much that I need to get done uh, that I really can't go any further without having the proper you know uh, items there to do the kit. Now I still have the uh, the wheels and tires. I still have the body to put together. I still have the painting process to do. Uh, I'm getting down to the stuff where I have to start painting and putting the body shell together. Uh, that's a whole nother ball game right there that I kind of need to study up on. Uh, if you guys know what is a good type of glue to use on ABS plastic, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys uh, think or what I should use. Now I'm you know I, I did pick up some stuff. This right here, if you can see it. I'm gonna try camera focus on me. Camera focus, focus. I want you to focus on the bottle. Focus. All right. Well, try to focus. 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 Switch to manual mode. Maybe it'll focus. All right. All right. There you go. This is stuff I picked up from the hobby shop. This is what they told me to use. Will it work? I'm not really sure. So, uh, so yeah, so that's some of the issues that I'm having here on the build. And I wanted to kind of let you guys know what is going on with the build of the HC6 from Cross RC. And uh, it's a little bit of a headache. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to stay positive about it. But, you know, it's just like, ugh, really? Why? Why do you have to send the wrong stuff? Why, you know, <laughs> why is the plastic so thin why is it you know like come on like this is not a cheap truck you know I know there's reasons why they did it but you know come on <laughs> really uh, but I'm trying my best to work on this thing and not get too upset 
There's times I just want to throw this thing across the room, but if I'm afraid if I throw this thing, I'm going to put a hole in the wall or something like that, and I don't want to do that. But, uh, you know, so yeah, so that's my little issues that I'm having with the vehicle right now, and uh, hopefully Cross will step up and, uh, you know, fix this issue and help me out as much as they possibly can, because, you know, I want I want to say good things about Cross. You know, I, I want to you know say hey you know yeah go 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 with Cross. I mean yeah you're gonna have an awesome truck. It's gonna look cool and everything. But you know it is what it is I guess. Uh, but you know I do have the parts coming. I actually went ahead myself and ordered the parts because I like I don't know how long this process with uh, Cross you know support team there. Uh, how long they're going to take in this process of giving me the stuff that I need but uh, hopefully it'll be very soon so I can get this build done so I can get it out there and hit the trails and stuff like that with this truck and do some serious awesome videos with it but uh, yeah my friends so yeah um, yeah <laughs> Now, I also have another issue too, uh, my ESC, I got a Hobby Wing ESC, which I'll show you uh, in the next upcoming videos when I get to where I want to show off the electronics. I actually made a mistake on that part right there. I gave the ESC to my buddy to, uh, to solder on some connections for me, and I ended up giving him the wrong uh, wires for the motor leads. I ended up giving him mail ends when I needed female ends so I was like oh man I was like when he saw me he sent me the picture I was like oh I messed up dude I gave you the male ends and not the female ends it probably could work but that would kind of be a gay truck I guess <laughs> but uh it definitely wouldn't work out I, I know that for sure so I was like oh yeah you know, so I had to give him right connections and I was like yeah take your time man I still got a lot to do on the truck uh, with building the issues of it and stuff like that, so take your time. So yeah, but uh, that's it on the update of the HC6 from Cross RC. Hopefully these uh, little uh, uh, mess ups can uh, be resolved as soon as possible, so I can get this truck out there. Uh, but yeah, so uh, all right, my friends, that's all I have on this update of. HC6. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching y'all. I'll see y'all in update number three of the build. Thanks for watching.